Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of the tutorial series. In this series, we will be building a movie list app using the MDB API and Swift UI. First, let me show you the completed application using the simulator. We'll have a walkthrough of all the features that we are going to build one by one. We have a movie list as the home screen of our app. There are four sections, now playing, upcoming, top rated, and popular. For each section, we use a carousel where users can scroll the movies in a horizontal direction. For the now playing section, we show the poster image of the movie using a portrait aspect ratio. For the rest of the sections, we show the backdrop image using a landscape aspect ratio and a title text. When users tap a movie on the list, the app will push the movie detail screen. In this screen, we show all the pieces of information related to the selected movie. At the navigation bar, we have the title followed by the backdrop image. In the next section, we have the genre, runtime, Glacier and the overview description. Also, there's a rating represented by the count of stars. In the following section, you have lists of cast, directors, producers, and screenwriters. In the last section, we show the list of trailers. When users tap on the trailer, we'll pass the YouTube URL to the server web view using a model sheet presentation. Within this sheet, users can watch the trailer directly from the YouTube website. Let's move on to the second tab in the home screen, the movie search view. In this view, we have a search bar located at the top, where users can type to search for movies. The search results are shown in a list with the title and release year of the movie. When users tap on a movie, we push the movie detail screen. That's all the features of the app that we'll build in this tutorial series. To summarize, we have three main screens, list, detail, and search. To fetch the movie data, we're going to use the MDB API. So, please make sure to sign up into the moviedb.org website. After you log in, click on the API from the sidebar. We'll be using the API key v3 auth to authorize the API call. You can see the example request here. We need to pass the API key in the URL param. There are several endpoints we'll be using in our app. We're going to fetch the movie list based on the now playing, upcoming, top rated, and popular. Also, to show the movie detail screen, we need to fetch a single movie by passing the ID using this endpoint. Finally, to search movies, we'll be using the search API by adding the query text from the users in the request. That's it for the introduction of the movie list app. Stay tuned. In the next part, we are going to build the movie model and surface. See you in the following video. Bye.